Hey, what's up all you lovely learners out there in learning land? Tyler from 10 Thumbs Pro coming at you with another ukulele tutorial like we do every single Wednesday and Saturday. Today we are going to examine a new key, the key of G, exactly what that means. We'll also take a look at the notation for 16th notes, 16th rests, and what those little dots mean, all right? This is lesson two of four in our learning to read sheet music. If you haven't seen one yet, go ahead and check the links below because that's going to be very important. Printable tabs and sheet music to help you along with your experience here for this lesson and all our lessons by becoming a Patreon. But I will also have all the information on the screen. All you really need to learn is your ukulele, brain, and attention span. You're really going to need the brain today, all right? When you have those three things, follow me on in and let's learn how to read this sheet music. Come on in. All right, so let's go ahead and throw our first example up. You can see two things jump out right away that should be different from the last time. One of them is that we have this little hashtag sign um, in, next to our key signature. Well, that means that all of the notes on that line are going to be sharp or moved up. Since we know it's every good boy deserves fudge, and that is sitting on the line of the F, all of our F notes are actually going to be F sharp. And that's why these key signatures are knowing the key is important because you won't see that little sharp next to every note. You only see it at the beginning. So why don't we go ahead and put up the tabs and sheet music for, oh, and the three, four. What does that mean? Well, we were doing four, four before and four, four means one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, for every key signature. But in this example, it's going to go one, two, three, one, two, three. Very common and very famous with uh, styles of music like waltz, for example. All right, so let's put up the tabs and play through the G major scale. As we're in the key of G, it's good to know where this scale is. If you're in the key of C, play the C major scale. If you're in the key of F, play the F major. If you're in the key of G, the first thing you should do is play the G major scale to see where your notes are. We get this. One, two, three. All right, with that primary difference, in fact, the only difference between the G major and the C is moving this F note up to an F sharp. So the only thing that we need to be familiar with or be careful with is knowing that the very top line, all of our F notes are going to be F sharp. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop down. We are now going to introduce two new concepts. One is the dot and one is the 16th. The 16th fits four notes into your quarter note. So we can see in our first example, the first measure, we have a half note and a quarter note. One half plus one quarter equals 75. Well, 75 is three fourths, which is our time signature. So our first measure, third fret of the um, E string, and we get one, two, and then we drop down to an E, three and we're going to go back to the G one two and then we get to our okay and that is our sixteenths in that quarter note right there we are going to play five two three open all in the space of what we did play with our previous notes you count sixteenths like four E and a and then we're going to finish on this third fret here. But we'll also see that that has a little dot next to it. What does that mean? The dot means that you add half of that time. So because it is a half note, a half cut in half is a quarter. So it's a half plus a quarter or that whole measure. If it were, for example, a quarter note and it had a dot, you would add an eighth. If it were an eighth and had a dot, you would add a sixteenth. Okay, so these three measures, we get one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, E and a one, two, three. All right, continuing this next exercise, I'm gonna put it up and I'm not going to have um, the tabs up because we're gonna try to work this out. We see our first note 
in our first bar, this is 16th notes. It's by that little double line is what denotes that. We start on a C, go to a D, go to an E, and then an F. But we know our F is an F sharp because we are in the key of G. So that first little lick will be O, two, O, two, and then we play the third fret or the G note. So the first stanza would be one E and a two, three. The next measure is gonna look familiar because we've already done that little quarter note, but we're gonna see the little dot there. So that means it's going to play for a quarter and a half or a quarter and then you're going to have a space with an eighth note at the end. So the next measure will go one E and a two, three and one. So let's put the tabs up. And if we play through this, we get one, two, three, one E and a two, three, one E and a two, three and one, two, three. Okay, so that is how six notes and dots work. Why don't we apply this now to a popular melody? I'm gonna put the melody up and I want you to pause it and work it out with the tabs and then we're gonna play it together. Once you know the melody, leave a comment below. Okay, the first three measures, go ahead and hit pause on the video and work these out. Okay, the next three measures, go ahead and hit pause on the video and work the tabs out. And the last three, go ahead and hit pause and work the tabs out. Okay, so now we're gonna play it, but I'm gonna put the tabs up so you can confirm your tabs. Okay, we're gonna play it from the top. I'm just gonna play through it. At this point, you should have, on a piece of paper, worked out all these notes. So here we go, from the top, we get this. One, two, If you know that melody, go ahead and leave a comment below. So there we go. We have introduced how to read key signatures, new key signatures, the key of G, 3-4, a new time signature, and plus we've also touched on sixteenths and dots as well. All right. We will see you in one more week for the next challenge on how to read sheet music. Have a lovely week. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching to the very end. Again, think about some extra help up there by becoming a Patreon. You'll see 10 Thumbs t-shirts up there as well. Skype Lessons one-on-one -on -one if you're interested. Email me, 10thumbsproductions at gmail.com. Um, and until next time, keep on playing that ukulele, keep on loving life, and keep on reading that sheet music. Life is good. Have a lovely day. Take care of yourselves.